So this right here is a sound sensor. We can also call it a microphone, but I think with Arduinos and sound sensors, they're usually not really good. They record really crappy frequencies, nothing near a professional microphone. So we call them sound sensors due to that fact. Just like most Arduino modules, it has a positive, a negative, and then in this case, we have two different signal wires. We got the yellow, which is a digital, and then the one that has nothing on it here, which is an analog. Digital is always very minimal information. It's usually just high or low, one or zero, versus analog, where you get a whole scale of results. So I'm guessing analog you would use to get exactly how high the sound is or what kind of frequencies you're getting out of the mic. Where digital, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna see if it's loud or not. Using this blue box here, we're gonna change the sensitivity of the sound module, and then from there, we can tell it when to trigger and tell the yellow wire, hey, something's loud. Now, I don't wanna just do that and just put on the screen one or zero, loud or not, whatever. It'd be pretty boring, so I have this little fan module right here, and when I clap, or when I make a loud noise, I want the fan to turn on. And then the next time there's a loud noise, I want it to turn off. All you're gonna need is the three cables for your sound sensor. And then my fan module comes with two wires already soldered in, but you probably just need two. Then all you need is an Arduino and you're ready to go. The sound sensor, like always, is gonna plug into the five volt with the red cable. So that's right over here. And then we're gonna plug into the ground right next to it. And then the yellow cable is going to go into any of the digital pins. I'm going to put it into seven. And we're going to take our fan module here. I have a piece of tape because it keeps falling over. So I'm going to tape it to the table here quickly. We're going to plug in the ground into a ground port. Then we're going to plug in power into, let's say, pin number six. Now I just have to plug in my Arduino into my computer. And now we can see everything has power. If I turn off my LED in my room here, we can see there's one red light on our sound sensor. And I'm gonna actually take it and rub my finger across the microphone. And you can see that LED there is flashing on and off. It's currently flashing when it hears a really loud sound, which in this case is my finger smashing on the mic, kind of like if I did this. We're gonna open up the Arduino editor and we're right away gonna jump into it. Just make sure you go to tools and port and choose the right port. In this case, I'm on port six where my Arduino's plugged in. If you get errors about your board, just make sure you're choosing the right board. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tell it what ports things are plugged into. So we have our sound sensor and that is plugged into port number seven. So we're just gonna do that. And then we have our fan, which is plugged into 12, uh, six. We're also gonna to wanna to hold a value called the Boolean so that's like a true or false, and we're gonna call that fan status. And that's pretty much gonna be if the fan's on or not. So if this is true, fan will turn on. If it's false, fan will turn off. Then we gotta go and tell the board that we have two pins that we're gonna be using. So we use this thing called pin mode. We're gonna take our sound sensor, so let's just copy paste that. And let's copy paste this line, do that. We're gonna to have to tell the pin mode how we're gonna use the pin. So in this case, the sound sensor pin is gonna be an input while this is going to be an output because we're putting out power to the fan. Just make sure you end with semicolons and that's all you need to do in there. Next step is to put stuff in our loop. This is what loops once the original setup function runs. So the setup is just the initial things that happen right away when the app starts or when the machine starts or the computer starts, whatever you want to call it. And then the loop is what loops over and over and over as it's on. So here we have a couple things to do. First thing we have to do is pull the results from our sound sensor every X amount of time. So I'm gonna go and make a value here called data and we're gonna be doing digital read since it's a digital module. I'm gonna grab sound sensor and then we're gonna go and right away jump into our if statement where we're gonna check if our data is equal to one. So one would be loud, we're hearing noise, and then if we went, if data equals zero, it would be when the mic is quiet. So one thing you can also do is just make it so that if data equals one, turn on the fan, if data equals zero, turn off the fan, and then you'd have to scream into the mic consistently. We're just going to check fan status, whoops, right over here. 
if fan status equals false, we're going to tell it to take fan status and turn it into true. And then we have to use our digital write and tell it to take the fan that's plugged into port number six and put it on high. So high is, because it's an output port, we're gonna be telling it to put out power. You can see here, we're reading from an input port, right? Sound sensor is our input port. But now we're gonna be output, we're gonna be using our output port, so we're gonna be outporting power using digital write. So if we had an LED on the same pin, we would use digital write. We, we, digital write is when you're putting out power through a digital port. Now all we gotta do is tell it else, so if it's not data one, then we need to take fan status, make it equal to false, and, oops. So what we have working right now, well, I should go first in idle delay. Let's make it a tenth of a millisecond, a tenth of a second. What's happening in the sound sensor? It's gonna tell us one or zero, high or low, if it's loud or not. If it's loud, we're gonna check if fan status is on or off. If the, current, if the fan is currently on, we're gonna go into the else and turn it off. If the fan is currently off, we're gonna go into here and we're gonna turn it on, and we're also gonna set our flag here, fan status, to be true or on, because on the next time we're gonna to have to turn it off. So what we're doing with this fan status is just keeping on the side a value that we can look at, and it won't get reset when the whole loop happens. Because as you know, if you don't know, when you run a loop, anything between the loop brackets gets reset on the next iteration. So if you wanna keep something, uh, you know, you wanna keep a note about something that is inside the loop, you're gonna to wanna to hold it outside the loop. We got these brackets right here and fan status is not inside of them, so it won't get reset every time the loop resets. Now all we gotta do is compile and send that to our Arduino. It seems like it's working. Let's go to the Arduino quickly and test it all out. First thing you wanna do is make sure this fan is taped down. This fan is a little buggy, so hopefully it doesn't forget. Oh, I must have activated it there. So the fan is currently spinning. And if I go to the microphone again and Make some noise on it. Oh, it turns off. If I go and... I guess it's not loud enough. Oops, I'm bending it. Oh, I'm turning it on and off. There we go, now it's on. Whew, finally. It's really goddamn hot here in Canada, so this useless fan, I wish it did something. All right, so we got some air going. If we put our fingers on it, you can see it stops and starts again. Now we're gonna take our sensor and just turn it off. Boom, beautiful. If you're interested in learning more about sensors, more about Arduinos, or you just want to see me build funny robots where I torture myself, look at my recent videos. I made a video where I connected a taser to my arm and Twitch chat controlled it. Can no one shock me for a second? I'm holding a knife. Credits on me? Ah! One of you dicks fucking shocked me. Ah! Zai, fuck off, dude. You're killing me. <laughs> I made a video where I took a Roomba and I made dirt on the floor. And there we go. It works! It's alive! Oh no, it fell out! <laughs> no! A bunch of really cool sensor videos where you can learn a bunch of things. If you, if you want to see any of this stuff, comment below, maybe let me know. Hey, I'm working currently with a magnetic sensor and I don't know how it works or how to use it. Can you please teach me? And I'll make a video about that. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and maybe subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in tomorrow's stream where we'll finish our LED clock that we're building that's taken us way too long. Thanks for being here, everyone. I really appreciate it.